this problem, we talked about there's a couple steps. First steps we always look for two step equation was inverse out. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, reverse order of operations. So you always want to start with the adding and subtracting first, and then we always wanted to do a reverse operations for uh, addition and subtraction. Well, here we have some problems because we can't do addition and subtraction first because my negative four is or my four is being divided by three. So I can't just add a four because it's actually a four divided by three actually on the side. So the first step you always want to look to is see how can I simplify my equation. And what you look at this and say, what is there any way that we can simplify this? And the one way I like to say, guys, whenever you see a fraction, right, we always like to get rid of the fraction. And to get rid of the fractions, we can always multiply by the denominator. So if I multiply by this denominator, I'm really I'm setting myself up for 3 divided by 3, which is going to give me 1 which gets rid of my fraction. So now, that is okay to do as long as you do it on the left and the right side. So if I multiply by three, I now get three divided by three, which goes to one, which we like to say sometimes cancels out. So therefore, I can write negative x minus four equals 36. Okay? No, 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 no. We still have to, okay. It's close, though. We, and now, the best thing, though, is this is a lot easier to look at than this, right? We don't like looking at fractions. So to get rid of fractions, let's multiply by the denominator, right? This is a lot easier to work with. So now let's just do our inverse operations. What's happening to my variable? It's being subtracted by 4. So we're going to add 4. Then we have a negative x equals 40. Here's another big mistake that students make is they look at this and they say, oh, well, negative x equals 40. I don't want to find out what negative x is, okay? I don't, we don't really are caring about what negative x is. We want to know what x is. So how do I get rid of this negative 1? Well, this negative 1, guys, is the same thing as saying this. So we have a negative 1 times x equals 40. So really what's happening is this negative, this x is being divided by a negative 1. <laughs> so I'm going to divide by negative 1. Therefore, x equals negative 4. All right? That's your guys' final solution. Wait. <laughs>